Greetings. I am Dr. Karras of Burn Abbey, a Benedictine monk and scholar of the natural sciences of the year 1300. Today I present to you my entry into the Lionsdale Winter's Tourney Arts and Sciences Competition for 2017, Anno Societatis 51. The theme of this competition is how winter would have affected my persona. In winter, I and my brother monks in frigid Northumberland must live off sacks of grain and other stored food. Recently, my brothers came to me saying, Dr. Karras, Dr. Karras, mice are eating and fouling our supplies, and the cat is full and asleep. We are threatened by famine and disease. Save us, Dr. Karras. This was my answer. My inspiration came from this 1531 figure of a trap. Now, the trap is the oldest automaton. Now, the first robots were killer robots, devices that could d make decisions and act without direct human intervention. Um, it's an illustration of a fable uh, from ancient Greece called The Mouse and the Oyster, and the title here is Captivus ob Gulam Caught by Greed. Uh, the mouse investigates an oyster and is trapped when the oyster shuts its, its uh, shell on it. We don't have an oyster here. We have an artificial equivalent. So uh, this is obviously the mouse. Uh, this is the door that is closed upon it. This here um, seems to be uh, a torsion uh, a twisted cord such as found in uh, the ancient uh, Greek and Roman ballista and catapults, onagers they're called. This piece puzzled, puzzled me for a while. I thought this was some kind of a whalebone spring arrangement, but uh, as I turned to another source, I found it was in fact uh, part of the trigger mechanism called the clicket. This illustration is taken from Maskell's book of engines and traps of 1590, so a few decades later, but you can see here um, the um, arrangement of the trigger here. So you have that same diagonal stick um, that we just saw coming out of here, and then we have a string coming down that is actually ho holding the trap open. Uh, in behind, you see the torsion spring that's trying to uh, slam it shut. And uh, that string is connected to this stick over here, uh, whose upper end is on the, the upper jaw, and whose lower end is in the notch here of this stick over here that is suspended in the mouth of the dragon, as it were. Uh, the bait would go on top of the stick here, so when it's pushed down, that releases this stick and flips up as the mouth, uh, as the jaw of the trap closes. We will now set the trap. So open the jaws, take the upper clicket, put its top end holding that jaw open, and now I'll show you, there's the lower clicket there, you could see the part of the clicket, you could see the cheese is already there, cheese is a period bait according to Maskell, I put the notch, I position the notch, take my fingers out, and carefully lower it again, so you can see now that the notch uh, the, um, is holding the, uh, the stick there. Now. We are ready to test it. So let's see what happens. Will it catch mice? Squeak? Squeak? Oh, squeak! Captibus ob gulam. Amen. 